What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out ten insane real WWE feats of strength by uh, Cultaholic Wrestling. There are some times where wrestlers they they're able to show off how hard they've worked in the gym and they do some crazy things in the ring where you're like, okay, these guys are definitely putting in time and energy in the gym and getting all the gains and they're able to show off them carrying one or two people like it's nothing. It's pretty impressive. Um, Cesaro, you know, he doesn't go by Cesaro anymore. He's uh, Claudio in AEW. He's probably one of the strongest individuals we've seen in WWE pound for pound. He's one of the strongest guys. The dude was out here swinging people around, as you can see in the thumbnail, swinging the great golly with the break, great, you know, the little swing he would do. That takes an amazing amount of strength to be able to do that, you know, let alone, you know, <laughs> swing someone that heavy and that big around. Or if you guys remember, I think it was the first Memorial Battle Royal, the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, when he pretty much single-handedly lifted up the big show by himself and got him over the top rope that just impressive impressive feats of just strength so we're gonna check this out appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel you guys are amazing let's get right into this one strong is pretty much a prerequisite if you want to be a wwe star and the average member of the wwe locker room isn't gonna have any issues when it comes to bench pressing deadlifting and all that other stuff the sweaty grapplers do to prepare themselves for matches but why talk about the average bozos when we can look at some proper anomalies? WWE rings have been the scenes of some absolutely outrageous examples of unbridled strength courtesy of our favorite muscle monsters. Mm -hmm. And before we begin, just to note that this countdown will look at the things that actually happened in the ring and not stuff that happened in backstage yeah. segments and therefore could easily just be gimmicked, such as the tipping over of vehicles and whatnot. Yeah. I'm all for that sort of thing, but there shall be no trick here. I'm Adam Pacitti from Cultaholic Wrestling, and these are 10 insane real WWE feats of strength. Join us. Number 10, all aboard the Lex Express. WWE didn't do things half cocked when it came to pushing mm -hmm. Lex Luger as their new <laughs> red, white, and blue savior in the summer of 93. Having previously portrayed a narcissistic heel, the total package emerged as the all-American hero on July 4th when he stormed the USS Intrepid via helicopter and attempted to do what others, including some of his fellow WWE stars, had failed to do and slam the mighty Yokozuna. The then WWE champion was tipping the scales north of 500 pounds at the time Damn. and rarely left his feet. Embodying the spirit of the entire United States on its Independence Day, Luger sent the sumo into the turnbuckles, hit him with that metal forearm and hoisted him up before dropping him with a mighty slam. Rock, flag, and eagle, baby. That is impressive. Now, obviously, Lex knew his way around the weight room and had the muscles to show for it, but credit must go to Yoko for getting up for him in the first place. Mm -hmm. The super heavyweight was shockingly agile when he needed to be, though Luger still had to hold him and ensure a safe landing uh -huh. while also ensuring his own knees didn't explode like a goddamn <laughs> fireworks parade. Number nine, Very impressive, Cesaro though. swings Carly. Speaking of exploding knees, let's talk about the great Carly. <laughs> oh, damn, the world's that's least limber giant was not one to get off ground level if it could be helped, with only a select few, such as John Cena, Batista, and Kane, getting the privilege of giving him a proper bump. Yeah. The ultra-strong Cesaro is another man who has been able to show off his power on the Punjabi playboy, but not by hitting him with a mere slam or spine buster. The Swiss Superman is genuinely one of the strongest men to have ever performed in a WWE ring. And Big he facts. got to fully demonstrate that when he gave the great Carly a giant swing. Emphasis on giants. Cesaro took the seven-footer for a spin at Battleground 2013, managing to swing him around for multiple rotations with apparent ease. Not only does it take serious arm and upper body strength to get him up in the first place, yeah. but the leg and core strength required yeah. to maintain balance and control as he went around very and around impressive. is seriously impressive. Very, very he impressive. He previously finished Carly off with an epic neutralizer during a match on main event, so this was a natural progression in his quest to show off. 
Number eight, the very, Strong very EST. Of course, ridiculous feats of strength are not just the territory of WWE's menfolk. The company's history is littered with members of the so-called fairer sex who could give their male counterparts a run for their money mm -hmm. in the weight room, with the likes of China, Beth Phoenix, and Rhea Ripley standing out as those who have matched their beauty with brawn. But perhaps the Strong EST of them all is- Yonk is very strong, bro. <laughs> She's shown her feats of strength. Many, many times, she definitely deserves to be on this list. Bianca Belair. She shows it when she press slams her opponents. She shows it when she squats Otis and runs with him on her shoulders. Impressive, and she bro. certainly showed it on the December 20th, 2021 edition of Raw when she squared off with Dewdrop. Picking up her larger foe in the familiar torture rack position, Bianca carried the former and future Piper Niven from the corner to the center of the ring, where she hit a truly spectacular KOD for the win. Not only did Belair show how strong she was to get her Scottish colleague up in the first place, but she showed remarkable control by then carrying her and yeah. planting her safely on her stomach. Number seven, very, very Hogan impressive. slams Andre. Now, uh, we all know the one. WWE's oft-pushed myth that Andre the Giant had never been slammed or beaten prior to his WWE Championship showdown with Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania 3 are complete and utter bollocks. <laughs> Andre had been slammed multiple times before, including by Hogan and on <laughs> WWE shows too, no less. It's funny how WWE will rewrite their own history even though they... It's like this footage of it, bro. <laughs> but those were several years, many pounds, and much more mobility before. Because on that day in the Pontiac Silverdome, the big man was far heavier and much less likely to assist the Hulkster in the incredible feat due to the ravages of various injuries, with uh -huh. his back in particularly excruciating pain. Jeez. And if we're to believe Terrible Terry's own account, the giant weighed somewhere between 500 pounds and three tons, give or take a kilo or two. <laughs> a whole match built to the iconic slam, with Hogan trying and failing to get it done earlier on. Powered by prayers, vitamins, and goodness knows what else, yeah. some early R&D Ico Pro, Hulk managed to pick <laughs> up the immovable object, hold him for a second, and then drop him down to the canvas below. Number six, the world's largest F5. Brock uh, Lesnar. Now there's a scary thought, eh? Yeah. The next big thing is an absolute freak of nature. We already know, man, this, this guy. But whether you like him or not, you can't deny the dude is, he's, he's, he's a freak of nature, legitimately. Seeing him F5, the big show, the first time when they did the whole ring collapse. No, it wasn't even an F5, it was a suplex, my bad. Seeing him suplex him off the, I think it was a SmackDown episode, off the top turnbuckle, ring collapse, and it was a crazy spot. But the dude is just, he'll F5 a truck if he can. He'll try to, at least. It's crazy. Yeah, possessing the size, speed, strength, and just about everything else to make him the perfect sports entertainment specimen. And Lesnar is not shy about demonstrating his athletic prowess in the squared circle, especially when it comes to chucking around some of his fellow beef boys. For example, The Big Show, aka the world's beefiest beef boy, or world's largest athlete, I forget. Brock has hit his enormous rival with just about every move in his arsenal, from German and belly-to-belly -belly suplexes to an almighty ring-exploding superplex. Mm -hmm. And he's also done him in with his finisher, the F5. Right, so Lesnar has managed to pull this off on multiple occasions with seeming ease, but that doesn't make it any less impressive. I mean, the guy is picking up 500 yeah. pounds, holding it on his shoulders, squatting it, and then throwing and spinning it through the air <laughs> in crazy, one earlier inducing motion. I struggled carrying the big shot from Tesco the other day. Makes you think. Makes you yeah. cry. Number five, the world's is strongest impressive. tombstone. The Undertaker was many things. Spooky, scary, intimidating, threatening, frightening, daunting, and so on. But one aspect of his game that doesn't get its just due is just how bloody strong he was. Almost supernaturally strong, you might say. Oh, Not me, man. mind. That would be absurd. Anyway, standing <laughs> close to seven feet tall and hovering around the 300-pound mark, the dead man had no issues getting people that was up a beautiful to the, slam, right the there. last ride, or indeed the tombstone pile driver. Not even those who outweighed him by about 100 pounds, like Mark Henry. After teaming with Kurt Angle to take on Henry and Eminem on the February 17th, 2006 episode of SmackDown, the Phenom unleashed what he himself has since called his most memorable tombstone ever. 
Taker was clearly in excellent shape at the time, mm -hmm. but Henry was very big too. Picking him up and lifting him upside down was one thing, but then holding him and making sure that an inherently yeah. dangerous move was performed safely and that he protected his opponent was another altogether. Very, very impressive. He pulled impressive. it off in style, however, and then repeated it for poops and giggles six weeks later on the grandest stage. Mm -hmm. Number four, Mark Henry breaks the chain. Speaking of Mark Henry, they call him the world's strongest man for a reason Facts. it's because he's um the strongest man in the world and if you don't believe me him or wwe then i suggest you keep those opinions to yourself or else quickly run a mile before henry grabs you picks you up presses you for 55 reps and launches you <laughs> into the sun the hall of pain inductor has done countless impressive things in and out of wwe yeah, things yes. over the years but perhaps the most extraordinary was when he tried to get from the outside of it to the inside Storming out at the end of Eminem's tag team title cage match defense against Rey Mysterio and Batista on the January 6, 2006 episode of SmackDown, the former powerlifter attempted to bust his way through the steel structure. However, either the props department or the ring crew or some group of idiots messed up somewhere because uh -huh. the supposedly gimmicked chain didn't break away as intended. Because it was a real steel chain. Wow. No problem for Henry, of course, who duly snapped it like a breadstick before doing the same to the animal. Yep. Number three, strong as the bull. Hey, shout out to uh, Mark Henry's son, uh, Jacob Henry, man. Uh, dude is following in his footsteps. Dude out here benching ridiculous amounts of weight <laughs> in high school so if y'all haven't seen him uh jacob henry go uh follow him on uh instagram man dude is just ridiculously strong Every good stable really needs someone to act as the muscle, and WWE's iteration of the full-blooded Italians was no different. Which is where Johnny the Bull Stamboli came in. And yes, Chuck Palumbo wasn't exactly soft, and Nunzio was shredded, but the point is, Stamboli was the man for heavy lifting. Literally. With a nickname like The Bull, you expect him to be strong, but the move he pulled off on Samoan super heavyweight Rikishi on the February 20th, 2003 episode of SmackDown really does need to be seen to be believed. Out of nowhere, Johnny picked up the 400 pounder, pressed him over his head and slammed him down. That's Mamma impressive. mia! Rikishi was deceptively agile for his size and knew how to move about the ring at pace, but this was basically just raw strength from the FBI member who had previously press slammed Rikishi's brother Eddie Fatu, aka Jamal, on an episode of Heat. Rikishi, unable to match such power, vowed revenge by rubbing his oh, backside no. on Stamboli's <laughs> face. I think I'd rather take the press slam, to be honest. Number two, super strong, super Cena. John Cena's strong. <laughs> yeah, it should John be on Cena's this list. Strong. It's John Cena. <laughs> he picks them up, then puts them down. Rise above hate. Lift heavy weights. John Cena's strong. John Cena's strong. <clears throat> He is, though, isn't he? Yeah. The Doctor of Thugonomics most often illustrates the scope of his burliness with his finishing move, the FU, or the AA, or the glorified fireman's carry drop, or whatever yeah. you want to call it. <laughs> He's nailed some true behemoths with it in the mm -hmm. past, but his most impressive one wasn't even one at all, but a noble attempt. While competing for Edge's WWE title uh, in a triple threat I know match with He's the Big Show at WrestleMania 25, Big Match John tried to create an unforgettable, memorable moment when yeah. he hoisted up both of his opponents for the FU to end mm -hmm. all FUs. By my calculation, that is somewhere in the region of 700 pounds. That was crazy there, that he was able to even to do that. For a split second. That was crazy. He <laughs> to win the match too, though he pulled every tendon in his body and the lasting damage forces him to waddle around like a duck when the cameras are switched off, apparently. <laughs> Number one, farm boy strength. And so we cap things off with another freakish display of freakish strength by that big, beautiful freak, Brock Lesnar. Of course. The Beast Incarnate has been laughing in the face of nature for going on a quarter of a century now, but he really was something else when he was a mere rookie in the midst of a record-setting run for someone so young and new to the business. Mm -hmm. We've already established that one of his favorite hobbies was introducing the big show to the forces of gravity. Facts. And while the suplexes and F5s were all mightily exciting, Lesnar took took things to another level while defending his WWE title against Show and Kurt Angle in the main event of Vengeance 2003. 
Joining an exclusive club of people who have powerbombed the world's largest athletes, or at least tried to, the next big thing not only hit the move beautifully, but added his own twist. Rather than just dumping show's 500 pound frame out of the corner, Insanity, Rock ran bro. halfway across the ring and absolutely blasted him down. I mean, good lord, what's he gonna do next? F5 a shark? I mean, he did that for a promo, uh, for SummerSlam promo situation, but, uh, it's like the big show is like, he's one of those guys, all right, we're gonna test how strong you are. We're gonna have the big show uh, uh, take a bump from you. <laughs> That's literally what big show became. The Brock Lesnar bump, the John Cena bump, anyone that's strong, you're gonna bump for them. If they can lift you up, you're gonna take a bump for them. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's one of those type of things, bro. It's, it's always impressive to see someone do some amazing feats of strength that you know people like me and you could never do. And I say never, but you know, <laughs> we're not in the gym like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's always impressive to see those things. It definitely makes the wrestlers look, you know, just like superstars. Comment down below. Let me know some other wrestlers that you feel like, you know, could have been on this list that are, you know, very strong in WWE, you know what I'm saying, and maybe missed this list. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys show on the channel. Roll to 150K. I still undisputed. YouTube Wrestling Champ of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.